What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling World Fire Promoter Video F and Games VFG by the shirt. You know the deal. We're here back doing it for another week here on this program, and it's been about six months or so. So let's get into it here, shall we? Because I have forgotten a whole lot of what's happening in this game, but I do know that somebody is going to want more money. Because they always do. And Rey Mysterio, Booyaka Booyaka, not happy with his pay. So that's HR, that's Hey Mr. Mysterio, who's making how much? Uh, $13.20? Yeah, alright. We can change his and pay the greatest little man in this business a bit more money. There you go, Rag. Happy? Okay, is anybody else unhappy here? Oops, I wrong button. Anybody else unhappy here? Cheeseburger, uh, who is now in a tag team with Luigi, the mean green machine, I do believe, uh, with his popularity. The Burger, who is, I think, one third of our six man tag team champions, wants some more money, so sure, we can do that. Cheeseburger, you aren't making that much to begin with. Only a thousand, so yes, we'll give you a bit more. Another hundred bucks, sure. There you go. They seem satisfied. Now, I'm going to go for a third time here. I'm not sure why, just a hunch. Is there anybody else who is unhappy here? Wa Luigi. Alright, we're going to do one more here and give Wa Luigi what he wants. I keep, wrong button, man. It's been a hot second here. So, HR and then consultation for Mr. Wa Luigi, who is, again, making a thousand. He's fine. So, yeah, we'll give him a little bit more here. That's not going to hurt me at all. I have 37 million in the bank. Honestly, if anything, I am too stingy with this money. Now, uh, our scouts are back. So Carlos and Marty came back. We want Carlos looking for some hardcore in Latin America for six months and send him out. And Marty in America on that showman style for nine months. Get it done, Marty. I've added 20 more talent into the pool, including the icon Sting! So yeah, find me the Stinger. Seriously. Go do that. Alright, scouts are doing scouting things. Uh, where are we at here for our... I don't know. Um, our training center? We can... Honestly, we have one more spot until this gym is full. So I'm going to fill that last spot, offer a contract, and then... Have that gym be full. We kind of only need right now to repair the lounge for seven grand. So everything now is in good condition. And yes, the gym at half a million is our next big upgrade in this game. But our current broadcast. All right, so I have four months now on this deal to not dismiss two or more wrestlers. So the firing, the future endeavoring is going to happen, but not for another four months. So. That I can't do it. I can't let anybody go just yet. Unfortunate on that. And yes, sponsor fees and all of that. Good stuff. So, that being said, let's head over into management. No, I'm sorry. Let's, let's head to HR and offer a contract. Now, is there anybody on Raw who is unhappy? Raw is still the top tier company in this GM mode. I am three. So, Akam is at a D. AJ is a B. Alistair, Alistair Black is a C. All right. Andrade. Andrade is a D. The Big Show, Angelo Murphy, the best kept secret. Edge is an S tier, unfortunately. Uh, also a D. Rowan's a B. Anderson's a D. Montez is S tier. And Doc is A. How about the best kept secret? What if I hired away Murphy? Let's, hey, at least let's negotiate for a grand and offer him 22 grand to sign with us and put Raw out of business. Last time, I put Ring of Honor out of business. And Murphy signs! I'm signing all these top talents here. It's happening. Murphy, newly employed here in VFG. Welcome, best kept secret. Now, that being done, let's actually say if we... Uh, transfer, no, if we configure a new stable here, and that is going to be, uh, create new stable, 
And the short name here will be MGM. Okay. And the long name is the Mean Green Machine. And there'll be a face faction. Luigi and Cheeseburger are in Mean Green Machine. Already getting a lot of buzz. Meanwhile, Mario is on excursion because he turned heel and then bailed. So perhaps we'll see what happens with him when he comes back to VFG in like five months. So end of the week, we'll get back a Mario. Now, that being said, let's, I guess, head back here and book our event for this fine Monday. And let's invite some talent and loan some talent. So let's invite as we are still trying to make our inroads into Europe, let's invite Will Osprey. And doesn't want to work the style. He doesn't want to work strong. He hurt, hurt his neck, so that's not going to work for him. Let's invite Nick Aldis. Nope. Doesn't want to work our style. Let's invite Octodad. Nobody suspects a thing. Alright, that didn't work at all. How about ZSJ, Zack Sabre Jr.? Nope. Alright, well, Europe does not appear to want to work with us here. Geralt. That's never going to happen. I tried. I tried. Okay, free agents elsewhere. We can book one uh, Dragon Lee after ROH collapsed. So, 12 grand. Still, didn't want to do it. I'm paying you money. Book the show. Pentagon Jr. Hell yeah. Alright, can we also book... Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong styles here. Hell yeah. Tomohiro Ishii, the stone pit bull, 141 bite you. Nope, not this event. Sorry. Uh, Minoru Suzuki, five grand. Nope. It's Pikachu! Yeah, book Pikachu. Alright, we've booked some talent here uh, for the show. Let's now also loan some talent. Uh, so Raw is indifferent, and SmackDown is indifferent, and NXT is indifferent, and All Elite is friendly. So we want Raw to be friendly with us. We want to keep on uh, fostering that thing and then stealing all of their talent. So how about Raw takes the ace of the universe, Hiroshi Tanahashi. I'm willing to negotiate that here on behalf of VFG. There we go. All right. We've loaned him out to Raw now. And hey, that could happen in the future. We, you never know in real life. I doubt it, but you never know. Forbidden doors. Forbidden doors. Now, let's book our event here in VFG today. Standard. Start of the week. Taking it easy. But we're going to head over into Europe, still in that small hall. And we're going to book the VFG title match. And that will be our champion, Banjo of the Bear. Defending against our brand new, very European, superstar here in BFG of Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Warrior in that main event. So title match, main event, Banjo, the 8th BFG champion of the world, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. So Drew, where are you at here? Can Drew become the new BFG champion? It is entirely possible and plausible. Also... Let's say, all right, singles match, and we got, oops, wrong button, and we've got uh, one of our uh, freelance talent, Pikachu, who's popular pretty much everywhere, and he's a junior at 88 pounds, so let's see here in terms of juniors, we just hired somebody, and that would be Murphy, who's also a junior, so Murphy versus Pikachu, why not? <laughs> Please, Murphy. Give me a good showing here in VFG. So, tag team match. We do want to book Mean Green Machine here. So, is Mean Green Machine good to go for this show? Is the question. So, Luigi and no, they're not. They need a week off or a month off here. That's not, not great. So, instead, we'll have a just regular match here between Kratos and his tag team partner in Freaks and Peaks, Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior. Kratos and Sheamus going head to head with the modern day Maharaja 
and he is teaming up today with Dante. So, not the weird, but hey, why not? Why not? Now, moving on elsewhere in our talent that we've brought over for this show, that was very expensive. Uh, let's back up here and find Shinsuke Nakamura, the king of strong style, but his match style is freestyle, which is weird, but okay. But the king of strong style will go head to head with Adam Cole, baby. Okay, continuing on here as we are only half full on this venue and halfway into the card. We're going to book Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar continues to defend that NXT title, so Brocky Boy going to have to defend that belt as he does. And so NXT Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar will defend that title against Waluigi. Too bad, Waluigi time. Elsewhere on your show, we also brought in Pentagon Jr. We'll have him fight Rey Mysterio because good... Lucha Things on that non-title. Both guys looking pretty good. We have Nemesis, who is now a face no longer in Freaks and Peaks. Nemesis will go one on one with Bowser, who is indeed a heel. We also have King Corbin in the building. Uh, yes, we're going to still keep, keep on booking King Corbin. Versus Bray Wyatt, because why not? We're at a full house now, so we have to, perhaps have to increase the venue size. But Bray Wyatt is here. We have two more spots. So I'm going to book Joker, our best junior. And Joker will go one on one with Yushin Thunder Liger. And the final match on the card for today. Full match card. We got the Dragon of Dojima. Jerkin the Curtain and Kiryu goes one on one with who's left here. Truth, Sub Zero, I will say our truth because that's what's up. Now, what if we go to the medium hall? That is 5,000 out of 10,000. What if we go to the rural? That is 1,200. No, it is, uh, how about the small hall here? Is 1800 and the medium hall is that's still half that's still half so we want to obviously fill up the place so small hall fills it up i can't fill up a medium anywhere near a medium even at 20 bucks at 10 bucks yeah you're gonna lose a lot of money on that right to just get that capacity up so it's probably smarter to go small hall and then charge more 40 bucks 60 bucks? Alright, 40 bucks is the limit here in that small hall. We're gonna lose money, but more importantly, we're getting a foothold here in Europe, is the plan. So, that being said, let's confirm and get things underway on this event. So, a lot of, a lot of expenses here and not much money coming in the door. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we need merchandise. I almost forgot the part where you put in the merchandise, so... Merchandise. I still have some stuff here. All right, so let's let's not make merchandise because I have a good bit of stock I had to clear out from only having booked shows that carry that much of a small crowd. So what are you gonna do? Let's get that merchandise. What unsellable branded snacks? All right, so dispose of that and then make some more snacks. But only a thousand of those. Okay, we got something for the fans to buy here. Now we proceed February of year five. What's it going a to be? Standard. Let's go. Okay, so first match on the card, our truth in the dragon of Dojima. What opens up? 88% the burning hammer pinning our truth, which puts Kiryu has hit 30 wins. And 12 losses are truth. 9 wins and 13 losses. Next up we have a Liger and a Joker. Getting it done in our Junior Division. 100% by knockout. Yushin Thunder Liger knocks out Joker. So that puts Liger with a rare win for him. Is now 6 and 12. 
Whereas Joker with a rare loss is now 19 and 12. That brings us to Bray Wyatt and King Corbin. Let him in. 90%, the Mandible Claw takes out King Corbin. That makes Bray 14 and 6. Whereas the King, all hail the King, is 18 and 13. Sorry, King. You had to do it. Bowser versus Nemesis. Over here in the European land. What do we got? 94% Bowser going down to the Axe Guillotine Driver by Nemesis. So Nemesis is now 5 and 9. Whereas Bowser is now 14 and... 16. And that brings us to Rey Mysterio and Penta. Would be a great match. But it's not a great match in the game. Man, how do you guys stink it up? Mysterio and Penta, how is that possible to happen? But Mysterio gets the win, which means Rey is 8 and 1. And Penta doesn't work here. So, peace out. Peace out. At least our guy won the match. That's the important part. Now, the NXT Heavyweight Championship, Brock Lesnar and Wa Luigi. I expect Brock, but this game can surprise you sometimes. So you never know. You never know what's going to happen here. And no, not surprising, the F5 takes out Wa Luigi. Brock Lesnar does not lose often here. He is now 11 and 6. Whereas Wa Luigi is now... 18 and 17 for that purple boy. Title defense for Brock. Who can defeat him for that title? Nobody knows. All right. Adam Cole, baby, versus Shinsuke Nakamura on the card. Can Adam Cole get the win? He can with a frog splash. So Adam Cole clawing it back here. He is now four and four. And Nakamura don't work here. All right, tag team matchup. We got Freaks and Peaks versus Jinder and Dante. Will Dante carry this match? We'll see. No, he will not. But of course, Jinder takes the pinfall and Sheamus with the Irish Curse backbreaker there uh, gets the pin for his team. And that means that Sheamus is 18 and 14. Whereas Jinder is 10 and 17, continually being hindered. What are you going to do? Murphy versus Pikachu. It's Pikachu! And it is indeed Pikachu beating Murphy in his first ever match here with VFG. So he is now 0 and 1. Unfortunate, but... A lot of guys here in this company start at 0 and 1. It just happens that way with the game. But that Thunder Bomb, get it? Thunder, Pikachu, Lightning, uh, gets the pinfall, and the match is not that great. So, you know, is what it is, man. But the main event, let us check the rules here for the main event and make sure it is at the right speed. It's not pick forever. Welcome back to the VFG Arena here somewhere in Europe. And we have the Scottish Warrior going one-on-one -on -one with our VFG Heavyweight Champion, Banjo of the Bear. So, can the Claymore take out that bear or not? What's going to be the solution here? Can Drew get that 1-2-3 on that big, stinky, grizzly bear as such? Because he ain't got no Kazooie. Can he continue to retain that VFG title? Uh, and he is, you know, Banjo here in his win-loss record is 10 and 4. So, uh, has not been beaten that often, has that bear. Let's get this matchup underway. Lil Nate is the ref, and we fight as the bear misses the kicks, but goes for those big, heavy paws to the face. Tosses Drew to the corner, grapple into the corner, just to the midsection, repeatedly. And Drew, wrenching the arm, hitting that bare elbow. And early goings here are still very even. Drew reverses it, comes back in, and back to working the arm. 
if those bear claws can't, you know, work for the moves, then he might just win the match there with that. But the sidewalk slam from Banjo, knee to the gut into the Boston Crab on McIntyre. But no, that was not enough. Hardly at only 144 into the matchup. Bear dropping that elbow onto Drew, who rolls up. But no, not even a one count. DDT to McIntyre from Banjo, who has to be wary of the many, many tools at his disposal. Jawbreaker from McIntyre, working the legs and backing away from that very dangerous bear. Anyhow. Off to the ropes comes Banjo and a spine on the pine from McIntyre, but only a two count. And then figure four, woo, from that bear. Drew breaks the hole, somehow, someway, gets it done. Back and forth exchange from the warrior and the bear. And moving on, we have the bear calling for something, getting hyped up, hitting that elbow drop. And then Drew back to his feet first, somehow, some way. Scoop slam onto Banjo, punch to the gut. And Banjo again, back to that sidewalk slam. Just taking Drew off of his feet, trying to make sure he cannot get hit with that Claymore is a very smart bit of business. A shoulder breaker from McIntyre brings down Banjo with that flatliner and stalking the bear hunting the bear but into the corner banjo with that back elbow drew reverses suplex to the outside goes banjo nate begins his count and banjo beats the count handily easily like nothing else reversed to the ropes in a backbreaker from mcintyre fist to the face drops the bear to his knees but the bear is just too fast just too crafty to the ropes and a banjo into that submission maneuver into that headlock and has to get broken up. Drew breaks it up somehow, some way. Drew back at it. Banjo counters the running Oklahoma slam, but a rope break? No, not a rope break. Only a two count. Only a two count. Jawbreaker again, trying to break those bare teeth of Banjo. The roll up, but there's the rope break. DDT to Drew once again. And what will be the outcome here. Jawbreaker from Drew. He's getting them all tired out, but Banjo, fists of fire. Big claws to the chest of McIntyre. Picks him up, gets that drop toe hold, and Drew picks him all the way up in a standing suplex, but Banjo no-sells it, and Drew back to that shoulder breaker somehow. The big clothesline from the Scottish Warrior who has to outsmart this bear, who is definitely smarter than the average bear. The elbow drop from the top rope. And both men, well, men, are down. Drew, standing suplex once again onto the bear. Punches him, stomps him, picks him up. Bear backs away, back into the corner goes Drew. The bear splash back elbow. And Drew putting that bear into the mat. And Drew calling for it. He is calling for it, folks. He is getting hyped up, and he is ready to either hit that future shock or that Glasgow kiss or that no, the bear gets that backdrop onto Drew McIntyre. And then they running elbow drop. Both competitors here are at the very peak of their performance. And Drew brings him down with a unique maneuver there. Not quite a glam slam, but something definitely unique but the bear just keeps dropping that stanky elbow on the back of McIntyre letting those fists fly absolutely wild here in this BFG main event flatliner once again on that bear can't get it from behind clotheslined from Banjo drew back to that drop toe hold this catch is catch can back and forth the big belly to belly from McIntyre onto that bear he has to go for something here but just not quite sure what the clothesline from Banjo. And then, yep, here we go. Again, with that front press slam of sorts. Oh, future shock DDT. But he can't capitalize. Banjo is up to his feet first. Shockingly enough, considering Drew has the height and weight advantage here, seemingly. He's a big dude, but Banjo with that huge drop kick. Two paws to the chest. 
but Drew again back to the well on that future shock DDT pinfall one two and a three we have a new VFG world champion it is indeed the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre and thus ends the reign of Banjo as a VFG champion Banjo is now 10 and 5 whereas Drew is currently undefeated at 2 and 0 congrats to Drew we have a new champion who will his next challenger be there we go new champion crowned the ninth vfg champion of the world full house 85 percent in the event there we go drew is the new champion congrats and what do we have here a great success in europe kushida and okada are your nxt tag team champions hell yeah james storm is in a champion and we lost some money there but again we have 37 million we can lose 60 grand it ain't no thing in vfg so that's cool we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep on stealing talent is the plan put them boys out of business all right they found kane in europe that's gotta be kane all right cool otis is in america i'm coming all right, cool. The president of SmackDown invited us to a company party. Yes, let's attend the SmackDown company party. Understood. A little mingling can go a long way to stealing their talent. Uh-huh. Dastardly. Dastardly. So, that is the show for today. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.